Hello boys and girls and welcome again to another exciting reading session. As we continue to focus on stories and look a little closer at polysyllabic words today, let's remember that there are rules when we are finding syllables and the fact that there are words with one, two, and even more syllables. Now always remember Today's readers will become tomorrow's leaders. As we read, pause briefly where a comma is seen, stop and take a breath at the full stops, high pitch for statements of exclamation and surprise, and remember to use that puzzling tone for questions. Now the passage we're going to look at today is Folk Tales from Guyana, The Old Animals. And this is taken from the Fun with Language Book 5. Again, remember that a syllable is a unit of pronunciation having one vowel song with or without surrounding consonants, forming the whole or part of the word. But we are looking primarily at polysyllabic words, and we learned before that polysyllabic words are words which have two or more syllables. Let's read. The old animals. Dan the donkey had become very old and very unfit for work. His master did not want him anymore and talked about killing him. This made the donkey very sad, so he decided to get away to the forest. On his way, he met Bingo the old dog crying. Why are you crying? asked the donkey. Mr. Joe my master doesn't want me anymore because I'm too old and cannot guard his house at night, said the dog. Come with me to the forest and we will find our own place, suggested the donkey. On their way to the forest, they met Tabby, the old cat, crying. Why are you crying? asked the donkey. Mr. Chin, my master, doesn't want me anymore because I'm too old and cannot catch the rats in his house, said the cat. Come with us to the forest, and we will find our own place, suggested the donkey. On their way to the forest, they met Rudy, the rooster crying. Why are you crying? asked the donkey. Mr. Billy, my master doesn't want me anymore, because I'm too old to wake up very early and say cock a doodle doo Come with us to the forest, and we will find our own place, suggested the donkey. So Dan the donkey took Bingo the dog, Tabby the cat, and Rudy the rooster to the forest. There they saw Bruno, the father tiger, Jumbo, the mother tiger, and Kato, the baby tiger, getting ready to eat their dinner. Let us scare them away and take over their house, suggested the donkey. How can we do that? asked the dog. You climb on my back, said the donkey. The cat will climb on your back. The rooster will climb on the cat's back. Then we will make our songs together and scare them away. When they had climbed on each other's back, they looked like a horrible monster. They went to the tiger's window, then they shouted together. Dan the donkey shouted, hee-haw, hee-haw. Bingo the dog shouted, bow-wow, bow-wow. Tabby the cat shouted, meow, meow. Rudy the rooster shouted, cock-a-doodle-doo. The tigers had never seen such a horrible monster and never heard such a terrible sound. They were so frightened that they left their dinner and ran away as fast as they could. The old animals went into the house, ate the dinner, and took over the tiger's house. So Dan the donkey, Bingo the dog, Tabby the cat, 
and Rudy the rooster lived happily together in the tiger's house. Did you enjoy that story? Well, do you think that animals really talk? Not that I know of, but as a writer, you can use your imagination and do anything. Did you notice how the animals cooperated? I don't know if you like the end of the story, but that's the writer's point of view. What did you learn from the story? I hope that you learned something interesting. Can you name some of the characters that were in the story? If you can remember, there was Dan the donkey, you had Bingo the dog, Tabby the cat, you had the tigers also. Right, so those were some of the characters in the story. Remember, answering these questions will help you to better understand the story as you read. Now let's take a look at a few polysyllabic words from the passage and a few that we have been using in other lessons. Remember that polysyllabic words are words with two or more syllables. Now along with the story we have read, I have a few other words that we will examine to look at the number of syllables they are made up of. Identical. I-D-E-N-T-I-C-A-L, identical. If we break identical into syllables, we get identical. Identical, four syllables. And we have the word donkey. D-O-N-K-E-Y, donkey. If we break donkey into syllables, we get donkey, two syllables. Imagination, imagination, I-M-A-G-I-N-A-T-I-O-N, -I -I imagination, imagination, we get five syllables in the word imagination, master, M-A-S-T-E-R, master, 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 we get two syllables. Horrible, H-O-R-R-I-B-L-E, horrible, horrible. When we break it, we get three syllables, horrible. Together, T-O-G-E-T-H-E-R, together, together, together. There. So we have three syllables in that word. Then we have the word dictionary. D I C T I O N A R Y, dictionary. When we break dictionary into syllable, we get dictionary. We get four syllables. Bingo. Remember, bingo was the name of the dog. Bingo is spelled B-I-N-G-O, bingo. Bingo, we get two syllables. And our last word, alphabetical. Sounds like a longer, harder one. Let's try it. A-L-P-H-A-B-E-T-I-C-A-L, alphabetical. A-L-P-H-A-B-E-T-I-C-A-L, alphabetical. Now let's break alphabetical into syllables. Alphabetical. Alphabetical. And there you will see that we have five syllables. So boys and girls, let's look back at our words, our polysyllabic words that we did today. Identical. Donkey. Imagination. Master. Horrible together, dictionary, bingo, and alphabetical. Please remember that you need to write these words down so that you can learn to spell them better and so that you could also use them to make your own sentences. That's all for me on today's session. 
I'm your teacher once again, Ms. Shamshuddin, and stay tuned for our other lessons. Goodbye until next time.